Next up is tuna. I get the next food processor, which looks marginally better than the one from Food City. And this one's actually mine. Um, and it's really cheap. It cost me $10. Don't buy this kind. It's cheap and it acts like it. It's a KitchenAid, but it's like, it's no, it's, I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay, so here, what we're going to do is um, you put this, uh, cut this into a dice, like it, just like it says. This is uh, sushi grade tuna. Did you just groan? <laughs> Jared just went, mmm. Um, and this is wild caught tuna. I'm happy here. So this is wild caught Pacific tuna. No, ma'am. So I'm cutting this all into um, quarter inch dice. This is a beautiful tuna. They had it down. It was frozen, um, of course. It comes too far not to be. A couple of weeks ago, I was doing a, for those of you who are on my Facebook page, you, you would have seen this, but I was doing, um, I helped do a catering um, up at this great place. It was called um, the Barns at Chip Ridge. Um, outside of Abingdon, and we did um, we did a ahi tuna. We seared ahi tuna, and so it was it was rare on the inside and um, seared on the outside. And then we had this great wasabi mayo. And we had ginger and all this stuff. It was absolutely beautiful. Tuna is one of those fish that are infinitely flexible and incredibly meaty and it's so funny how people don't know tuna any other way except from chicken of the sea the tuna is a wonderful a wonderful fish and I, I, every time I buy tuna, I make absolutely sure that I get it as sustainably harvested as possible. Because tuna is one of those animals that are not doing very well in the wild right now. And a lot of times when I do tuna at my house, I actually do a cheaper grade of tuna like the skipjack. Um, the big, all the big fish have mercury in them, especially the ones that come from the Atlantic. The bigger the fish, the more the mercury. It's just a, it's just a uh, precipitate from our energy companies. If we didn't want electricity, we wouldn't have mercury in the water as of now. Okay, so I put roughly half of the tuna into my little food processor. And then you want to not process it too terribly much. Sort of like we did the salmon a while back. Um, and you, you put in a little olive oil. Olive oil, soy sauce, not yes, too much, right. ma'am, always, you know me, that's what I do. My pans get nice and hot. Okay. 
I'm going to cut this just a little finer because it's going to get mixed into this ground tuna. So you leave some of them that bigger Uh-huh. Okay. We did this with the salmon, the salmon ones too. So you puree um, roughly half of it and then you um, leave the rest of it. Smells good. Nice and fresh. And those are the last, the last thing I need the food processor for. You think this is going to be good so far? Okay. Now, I'm going to do exactly what it tells me to do, which is to refrigerate this while I finish off the uh, cucumber salad. Find room around all the dressing. This is, the, this is the catering kitchen up here, so they have lots of dressing. Okay. This over. Okay. I've started the um, I've started the cucumber salad that goes on top of the of the tuna tuna burgers. So this is a half of a cucumber. I turn the pan down so it doesn't smoke too badly. Half a red onion. Now with this recipe for the salad, if you want to add a little sesame oil to it, you can, the little roasted sesame oil. You can do that. Rice vinegar. This is basically just a regular old table cucumber salad. brown sugar because that's the first thing that I picked up. You can use white sugar, you can use any kind of sugar, but I just got the brown sugar. 
I don't mind the little the uh, little molasses taste of brown sugar. Okay, so this is gonna marinate while I finish the turkey bur the uh, tuna burgers. This is the salad that goes on top of the tuna burgers. You know, you can put more or less onions and cucumbers and all that fun stuff. This is a wasabi mayo. And as you, uh, I've already made this, so it's mayonnaise and wasabi. Wasabi, you can get in a, so a little squeeze tube down in the Asian section, um, or you can just steal it from sushi. <laughs> that is what I did tonight, but I'm only making a little bit of bit. So um, <laughs> I had a few packs that I just took from sushi. Uh, and then lemon zest and ginger. Now I just use ginger powder, but you can use, you know, just you can grate ginger. Um, and that's just waiting right there. This is going to go on um, buns. I've got the buns here. I'm going to move all this to the side. These, all of these burgers are great on the grill, except for the bean burger. The bean burger, you would have it all on your coals. It would not stay together. Had a portion burgers. <laughs> Restaurant stuff. Yeah. No. Only in the beef. Only in the beef. These go together pretty well, I mean, pretty quickly. There's nothing that takes a lot of time or effort with these. Just a tiny one. These are cooking. I'll go ahead and get the buns ready.
These are Hawaiian rolls. I think you can read the bag so you knew that they were Hawaiian rolls, but um, I like them with, for sliders like these, or sliders, because um, they have a really nice little sweetness to them that I like. These could not be more perfect, if I may say so myself. Again, I'm not cooking these too much, gang, so um, the tuna for me is, is a sear on both sides. Just, I don't want to damage the, the inside of these. Is everybody okay with that? All right. I'm not going to cook them too much. I want them to be pink on the inside. And I'm just going to put a little wasabi, the wasabi mayo on each of these buns. Not a whole lot, because I don't know how you guys feel about wasabi. My husband and I were not doing the really thin tuna right. And our son saw how we cooked it. Uh-huh. Yeah. He left us a bite of his. <laughs> it really was better. Yeah, you, you don't really want to, you don't want to overcook the tuna. Not a bit. I think I got all of them. These are beautiful. And right before I serve them, I'll put the, I'll put the salad on top of them. You guys are going to be eating high on the food chain tonight, folks. I'm telling you. Sir? Yeah, it's high praise indeed. <laughs> A little more. Oh my gosh, sriracha mayo, uh, wasabi mayo, incredibly good. Thank you. Is this going to go in? I don't think it will. No. It's not. That's okay. It's fine. Just keep it in there. Okay. While I'm waiting to finish off the uh, the tuna, I'm going to go ahead and start work on the bean burger using a different pan not the one that I cooked the beef in or the one that I cooked the fish in I'll probably cook the chicken in the same one that I cooked the tuna in though I don't think that's gonna be that big of a deal It's not going to be done. Didn't you hear me? It's tuna, so I'm not going to cook it to death. But And you be surprised whenever you taste this, and you'll go, wow. Um, that's really good. Let them hang out for a bit. Chicken's going to go in there.
Oh. Some of these are topless or bottomless. Uh oh. That's a, this is, these are for those of us that are watching our carbs. So those of us get more salad.